Alright, Shalom. It's time for everybody giving all praise and glories unto Yahweh, Bar Shem, Yahweh Shai, Rakata Yahweh, Rakata Yahweh Shai, Call Halal Yahweh, Bar Shem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. And greetings and salutations and blessings unto those that believe that will get salvation in the, when the Lord returns to the earth. Alright, um, quick video here, a little spiritual hydration video. You know, basically, um, to, to, to build up your faith when you see these videos that not, not everybody, it's not all bad coming. Not everybody is going to, um, th th there's a way out of this thing. Not everybody's going to have uh, a destruction set before them. There will be an elect and there will be people that will be saved of, of, of the nation of Israel, which are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. But that time is closer than what we believed. That time is right around the corner. If you're paying attention to the to the, the signs that the Most High has set before us, we're, we're, we're right around the corner from that. So, yeah, though, though we suffer and and, and, um, and endure and go through all this tribulation, we're right there. And I got a couple of scriptures on it. Um, Second Ezra chapter nine verse one, it says, "And he answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs pass." which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the, the world which he made. And uh, you see things like blood moons, uh, eclipses, there's uproars of the people, there's um, Jake is starting to wake up to this truth that, that he is the, the real children of Israel. There's a lot of Esau's going down. You can see parts of that in his society, the, uh, the collapse of America and it, its uh, financial system. All these things are signs that we're that close to, to the Most High sending His Son back to visit the earth. You know, so so that's something to rejoice about. You know, especially if you're if you're a true believer of this thing. Even if you're a two-thirds, that's something to look forward to. You know, but more so for us because we're looking forward to, to the salvation. You know, when when this thing goes down. And then I have also Romans 13, uh, verse 11. It says. <clears throat> And that, knowing the time, that now is high time to awake out of sleep. This is that time that you need to wake up. This is that time where that grace period is going to really matter for you, that, that you won't get uh, executed or persecuted, better to say, that the, uh, to, to obtain salvation. That all your sins could be wiped away if you do the things that the Most High put before us to do, written in His, in his book, through His Spirit. You know, when, uh, when He returns, that's when... Uh, those will be chosen. You know, and read, read on, it says, uh, read from the top again, it says, and that knowing the time, that now is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than what we believe. Yeah, when you go back 40 years ago, 60 years ago, it looked like this was never going to end, like we were just meant to be slaves. Like we were just meant to be on the bottom, like we were just all, all the way losers throughout history, and we deserved to be losers. Yeah, we did, but there was a promise that the Most High would put us back in the position that we need to, to be in to rule the earth in righteousness and that time is very very close that time is right around the corner yeah there's some bad things coming but we're that much closer and the sooner we get through that bad the sooner we can really uh, enjoy that good so 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 Lord willing you, you, you brothers and sisters whoever's out there watching that believe in this thing keep holding on we're right there at the doorstep of this thing the society's about to go down this man is going down with it he's going to bring holy hell upon you but guess what? That's just your trial. Endure through that. Lord, one of the Spirit is with you, and it'll uh, it'll guide you through this thing, and you'll see that salvation. So with that, I say shalom.